Well, hey all, and welcome back. And today I have a special review for you all because I'm doing things a little bit differently. I am reviewing two toys, but not necessarily for the purpose they were intended. So what we have here is the Micro Wars Series 3. I originally bought these two Gundam mechs, and what I was disappointed to find out is they actually didn't come with any pilots. They were just the mechs and some stickers and weapons, and they're cool as they are, but I wanted the pilots. And the reason I wanted the pilots was because they look the perfect size to work as Diaclone alternatives or to work with different kinds of small cockpits. So what I found is that these other series come with actual pilots. So we move these guys aside. And what we have here is 05 and 02. And so I'm only familiar with this one because it's called the Ball. And I actually dig this one. Wasn't a huge fan of the vehicle in this one, but I like the idea of different colors of suits for each of the pilots. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see if it's worthy of our collection. And here we have them all out of the package. And I'm going to go ahead and warn you all, I'm probably going to knock these guys over. They do stand pretty well, especially considering how small their feet are. But this is being shot on a little bit of a piece of velvet. And so it's a little bit less stable for something of this scale. But each set comes with three pilots and three pilots. And each one is its own unique design. Whether the color is different or there's some different details that's molded into the character or a different helmet, you have enough variety with both sets to have six unique pilots, which is pretty cool as far as posability and add-ons for what the goal is for these. And then, of course, we also have, to me, it's a secondary item, but we have the vehicles. There are some are similar required for both the vehicles as well as putting the heads on the pilots, but nothing too major if you have a pair of nail clippers or if you have a set of these, which you should if you own any kind of model kit stuff, it's not too bad. But they are quite small. I mean, these are very minuscule. And so you may be wondering about articulation. And as far as these vehicles go, this one really doesn't have any uh, other than the cockpit. The cockpit opens up and we've got our pilot inside. It assembles from this piece here and there's little pegs all over it. So of course you can put it in an action stand. But I do wonder if you could mess around and do some parts combining, which could be pretty fun with these. Uh, this one has sort of a ball joint on these claws but there's not a whole lot of movement and then of course you can rotate the cannon on top and open the cockpit to reveal the pilot inside so that's pretty basic and but the real main draw here is the articulation of these pilots and while they have some different sculpting they are all pretty much the same in as far as their engineering goes we have a bulge at the hip we have a knee bend no foot or no ankle articulation we have the shoulder which is more along the lines of up and down because I think it's just a ball joint. Elbow, we have a bend. And then the head is, it's not its not really on a ball joint, it's really on a swivel, but it's flexible enough where you can move around enough at the risk of possibly breaking it. So I would be careful with that. But yeah, this really packs a lot for something that is as small as it is. All right, and so we have the mech here. You gotta get them in a seated position and then we can close the cockpit. So each one of these, these guys can work for that. But that is not the reason I want them. It's a cool feature. The, there's some playability here. They all are pretty cool. But my goal is to see how they scale with other toy lines to act as human pilots. And the first thing I want to compare them to is the Diaclone pilots. And actually, you can see that they are a little bit bigger, yet a little bit more detailed. Now, this is not an official Diaclone. This is a Mecha Fan Toys, but it is essentially a Diaclone pilot. And to see if these guys fit, we can just squash in here. He is a little bit big. I don't think he's going to work for this. But yeah, yeah, I don't think he's going to work for this. So that rules out one set of playability. But these could still be support pilots. As you see, the size is not too much different. I mean, this would be a guy that's a foot taller at least, but it could add for some play sets. Next would be how they scale with Transformers. And as you can see here, they make a really good human size for the toy line. Um, but not particular, these Transformers, but what I'm really considering is how they scale with Headmasters. So same deal, it's a good size, but let's see how they do in the cockpit. So I already have the Headmaster here and we have another Headmaster for scale. And you, as you can see, the headmaster is actually not that much taller. So let's see how he does in the cockpit of this vehicle mode. I am just going to knock over everything today, just so you know. That might just be my goal. Rather than trying to see what I can keep up, let's see what we can knock over. But yeah, look at that. That actually fits in there pretty well. 
And so, so if you're a customizer and you want to do some sort of GI Joe decos, these guys get actually pretty awesome just for that. But look at that. We've got a human pilot working with a headmaster in a transformer. So I feel like out of the things we've tested so far, it's a little too big for the die clone size. Um, it may work with some of them, but as far as this one goes, it's no go inside fitting in the armor. It could just be a support personnel. Works well in the Titans return sizes. Lastly, I want to try the Ryo series. Um, and I may not be pronouncing that right. But they're a really awesome mech series that you can kind of build and configure. But they come with absolute trash pilots. So let's open up the cockpit. Get him seated in there. And he fits. So look at that. We have a better pilot now for this mech line. Um, it may not fit perfect, but it seems to be about the same size as it, and it fits well enough to where we can actually have something in the cockpit. The Raihio series does have multiple types of cockpits. And so as you can see here, we have a vehicle mode, and we can kind of get this guy in here like so, and he fits in there just fine. So I just thought this would be a fun short review, something to sort of show you guys what these are, the, the Mecha Wares line, I think they're pretty cool for what they are, but actually as using them as pilots for other lines. And I think that's where they are most stand out for me. They run about 10 bucks, give or take, depending on if you're buying it from a store or if you're buying it secondhand market, they can go up from that. But I think for 10 bucks to get multiple pilots and then some sort of little vehicle to go along with it, I think that's a pretty good buy. So anyway, let us know in the comments below if you think these guys are worthy of your collection or if you know of other mini pilots that work for you for setting up your dioramas. And like always, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time.